After downloading the file, enable its macro. Go to the file's properties and check the checkbox to unblock the macro. Now, open the quiz game and enable its editing. Let's start with the customization of the name picker or the spinning wheel. The fifth slide which contain the second spinning wheel is intended for the customization of the students' names. Go to the fifth slide and click the spinning wheel. The chart design should appear at the tab menu at the top. Now, replace the names on it with your students. Time, you can change the format of your spinning wheel, change the colors of your own choice. I was experimenting in this part, but anyway, you can customize it to your aesthetic preference. I don't like the monochromatic vibe so let's just keep the original design, but I want to change some of the colors and give it a pink vibe. Now, our spinning wheel is ready. Let's copy and paste it on the fourth slide. Make sure to choose the paste it as a picture. Crop the picture into shape. Choose the circle shape. The ratio is 1 is to 1. Let's copy the animation of the original spinning wheel. Let's use the animation painter. Position the new spinning wheel properly, then delete the old one. We have to set the effects of the animation and set the trigger button to make spin and stop when we click the play button. Oops, we have to place the appear animation below the spin animation. Now, it's working perfectly. This time, let's edit the learner's scoreboard, I will be showing you how to add scoreboards, but if you want to remove some of the scoreboards, you can just delete them directly. Go to Slide Master under View tab. In the Slide Master, you can add the names of your students. As you can see, all the names have been added. This was edited in the slide master so the changes was applied to all the slides with scoreboards. <laughs> Let's
Let's go back to Slide Master. This time, we will add another six students. Select all the first column and duplicate them. I'll use another color to distinguish it from the other students. Now, let me add new names. The scoreboards are text boxes under Developers tab. We have to change their names. My last scoreboard was named T30, so we have to change the new ones into T31 to T36. time, we have to add a new VBA codes. Let's copy-paste the VBA code of T1 paste it six times since we have new six scoreboards. Change the T1 into T31 and repeat this process to all the pasted code. Repeat this process to all the six scoreboard, starting from T31 to T36. Exit the slide master and adjust the question text box. The question text box here becomes small, I would suggest that you resize the names and scoreboards to make the question a little bit bigger, or you can place the students' names in a separate slide and link it to your questions. Now. Let's add the score buttons, duplicate the buttons of the first column and align it to the additional scoreboards. Now, it's time to link the macros or VBA code to the score buttons. The red buttons are for reset, the orange is for 5 points, and the green is for 10 points. Just make sure that all the students' number are the same for the three buttons of each scoreboard. <laughs> Let's 
Let's try it out. Link all the remaining codes. are finally done. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Consider subscribing for more PowerPoint game tutorials.